Alright, welcome back to Adventure Camping. This is Tactical Nut here with another knife review for you. Today we are going to be talking about the Emerson Kershaw CQC 6K. As you can see here, the Emerson logo. You got the Kershaw logo. Now, why do we say Kershaw Emerson? Because Emerson is the one that designed the knife. Kershaw is the one that built it. Um, why is that important? Well, Emerson I love the logo, so I'm going to keep showing that a lot because they have an awesome logo. Emerson is v mostly high-end knives. And on that same note, they are also mostly military law enforcement knives um, or self-defense knives. Now, this is a outdoors channel about camping, backpacking, hiking, survival, that kind of stuff. So why do you need a fighting knife? Well, it's not necessarily a fighting knife all the time if you don't need it to be. It, this can be an EDC knife. It is easy to deploy just by using the thumb, as you can see. I'm putting no effort. I'm not flicking the wrist. It just flies right open. Once again, there's your logo because it's awesome. All right, now, just to give you a few specs before I get started. This is a three and a quarter inch blade. As you can see, frame lock, 410 stainless steel, G10 handle scales, I've got jimping here on the back that leads on this thumb ramp slash wave feature, a thumb disc instead of thumb studs, which I've always, always, always used thumb studs. I've never had a knife that had a thumb disc. This is the first time and right out the gate, I love it. Actually worked extremely well. The weight's about a little below, tiny bit over five ounces, which for some people may be a dough breaker because they consider it a little bit heavy to me. If the use that I get out of it kind of makes up for the weight, I don't care about the weight. So, this one for me, and I mean literally, after you carry it in your pocket for a few days, you don't even notice the weight at all. You don't even notice the knife. It's, I've been really, really surprised by how light it feels in pocket as opposed to what the weight really is. Um, it's mostly open pillar construction. You have a small back, pacer, back spacer here on the back which I wish they could have left off, but, you know, I don't design knives, so that's not me. You got some jimping here on the back, so this thing really locks into place. You got a good finger choil here, as you can see. And I mean, really, it's just, it's a solid lock-in. Now, when I tell you this little wave feature is also a thumb stud, uh, Emerson, when he first started designing knives, or I won't say when he first started designing knives, while he was designing knives, he was looking for a way to make a different thumb stud. So he came up with this right here. By accident, he figured out that when you're pulling this out of your pocket, this can catch on your pocket and actually deploy the knife. This became extremely popular to the point where a lot of people or different knife companies will lease this design. Uh, a good example or great example being Spyderco because they have amazing knives. They lease this design from them too, so they can use it because it's so effective. Um, why would you need that? Well, I would say, yeah, you do, and I will tell you why. And I never would have been able to tell you so until now. But if you're in the woods, if you're opening packages, you got your hands full, you're, I don't know, walking to your car, you find yourself in a self defense situation. If I can, let me back up a little bit so I can get this better in here, instantly pull this out of my knife pocket and I have it ready to go, I am either now in a perfect self-defense situation or if I'm opening stuff, I'm in the woods, I'm camping, hiking, whatever, and I got stuff in this hand and I need to cut, shave, do whatever, it's one less step I got to make. How awesome is that? I mean, I mean, I really didn't think... It would be that big a deal, but now that I've oh, I've got a new knife I've put into rotation, I don't want to stop using this because now every time I'm pulling this out of my pocket, I'm waiting for the new blade to open, and it's not. Good, bad, indifferent, whatever. I love it. Now the only downside to this, and there is one downside, when you pull this out of your pocket, if you do not want the blade to deploy, you have to be conscious of that fact. 
and you have to pull it out of your pocket differently than you normally would in order to keep it from deploying. Just as a example, I'll put it back in. If I do not want it to deploy, I've got to pull more straight up so that it does not open. If I want it to deploy, I'm pulling backwards, and there you go. It's an awesome feature. I mean, it's, it's way more handy than I thought it would be, and I've now found that after using it for a while, because all knives are a training, I won't say training issue, all knives require training with it just so you are used to using it every day. You know exactly how it's going to deploy and how it's going to be used. Now, I will roll in a little bit of footage when I show you when I first got this knife, I first the unboxing happened, how sharp it was, hair popping sharp as they like to say. Um, so let me roll that in and we'll be right back. Hey guys, I just want to apologize. I uh, was just uh, trying to upload some videos for knife reviews and I realized that the somehow, some way, the videos where I filmed the unboxing and the uh, initial sharpness test of the knife that I'm getting ready to show you got deleted. I apologize tremendously. Trust me when I say that it was hair popping sharp. It shaved the hair right off my leg with no issue whatsoever. But I don't know how or why it got lost or deleted. But anyway, please continue to do the video. Sorry once again. Alright, so you saw that it could shave the hair off my leg. It was just super sharp. Been used this ever since I bought it. I mean, you can look at the date. It's been used it for a little while. Have not touched this blade up at all. Why is that important? I can still sit here and shave paper as much as I want it to. I'm making confetti and it requires no effort whatsoever. I mean this thing is still crazy sharp. It has a 8CR14 MOV still and I mean I really I can't find a fault with it. I mean it's just been awesome. I mean give me this if I'm in the woods I need to shave down some wood making a tent peg, I'm making, you know, uh, I mean, make it whatever you want. I'm just going to make firewood smaller. I'm going to process some woods. I'm going to carve. Um, I need to make some fire sticks or feather sticks so that I can get a fire started easier. No effort. Shouldn't be fine shavings. I could sit here for days, I could do long ones, short ones, but I think you kind of get the point. Oh, I just shaved off some. Sorry. When they get really sharp, it's kind of easy to take off the ones you didn't want. So you got to really watch what you're doing instead of the camera. There's like five in that little group. I mean, it will just sit here. And obviously if it's going to do this, it's going to also take care of boxes, it's going to take care of packaging, it's going to take care of letters and paper and cordage, seat belts, whatever you want it to do. Any plain edge knife that is sharp is going to cut through any man made material that you need it to. Serrated edges are not necessary and it's why I don't use them because serrated edges to me, limit the capability of any knife because it reduces the amount of cutting edges that you have on it. So, if you haven't already stopped the video to go buy one of these, shame on you. You need to have one of these. I got this one from the cutlery shop. They had the best price that I could find online. I paid 30 bucks for it. I got free shipping. Um, I had a discount code for the free shipping. I love watching Nothing Fancy, so I'm going to have to give a little bit of plug for him because I used the shipping code Nothing Fancy or the promo code Nothing Fancy. Um, and that's how I got free shipping. So use it too. 
Why it's nothing fancy. He has a. He's kind of like the godfather of, or I won't even say the godfather. The consumer reports of outdoor gear. Camping, hunting, backpacking, guns, knives. He does it all. He's awesome at what he does. Um, he has not reviewed one of these that I've seen. He did an Emerson that was just an Emerson a long time ago. But this is the new Kershaw Emerson, and there's eight different versions. Blade HQ, out in the Midwest. There's other shops that have it. You have to have one. If you like knives, you have to have one of the eight versions that they produce because all of them are pretty awesome. Over time, I will probably buy, I think for my needs and for what I like, about four of the different versions that they have. One is a chisel grind, which is the CQC8, which is Emerson's are known for having a chisel grind because they're easier to sharpen in the field because you only have one edge to sharpen. But this one, ah, oh, it's beautiful, it's functional, it's got this little logo that is so awesome. It even has it right here on the pocket clip. Now the only, I can't even really give it a hit as a dislike because typically, got your lanyard hole, sorry I didn't point that out. The only thing I would normally say that I don't like is a pocket clip that shows this much of the knife. But with this knife design, you kind of have to have that in order for the wave feature to work when you're pulling out of your pocket. And, well, okay, I guess this will be the hit because it's only left and right handed tip up. There is no tip down option. But that is because in order to use the wave feature, it has to be tip up. If you know me, you know my, the way I use knives. I talk about it every video. I typically always carry my knives tip down. But for this one, it has to be differently because that's the only option I have. But at the same time, that wave feature takes care of it all. And it makes me happy. It's fun. It's just fun to play with. I sit around the house. I'm messing with it all day. And I mean, it's literally smooth as butter. If I show you blade centering, absolutely perfect, perfection, just, and that frame lock, lock up is solid, it's strong, I have no qualms about using it in any way, shape, or form, I know it's going to function, I have very little doubt that it will fail unless I just really completely use it in a manner that it's not designed which comes into play anytime you buy a knife using it how it's designed this blade shape I mean it shaves wood it's good for piercing stabbing slashing if you had to use it in a self-defense situation because Emerson knives were used for military and law enforcement or designed but at the same time as a woods blade as a EDC blade slices open packaging cardboard paper it doesn't matter what you come in contact with this knife will take it out it will do whatever you need it to do and as you see how quickly we went through paper the feather sticks it would do go out buy one buy two buy three buy all eight whatever you want to do go buy them because you need them they're that good the only thing to make it a bit better would be produced in the US but then you're probably going to pay two to three times the price. So, yeah, the, the HCR14 MOV is the Chinese still, but the quality control is there, production is there. This knife rocks. So, I hope this helps you decide on whether you need to get one of these or not. And I hope that answer is yes. And I hope you're going to go out and buy one today. In the meantime, be prepared and have fun.